So today we are doing a walk around of my 2006 256 SSI and trailer. Integrated swim platform with C deck to make it not slippery. Stainless steel transom shower. Trim controls, stereo controls, fuel, pop up cleats. Really nice, especially if you have kids um, or just anybody because you don't catch your foot on that, but it's there when you need it. Rear cooler. Diamond, pla diamond plate backed platform because we had one crack so we had that one done four step swim ladder and a Volvo Penta dual prop as a drive nice thing about this is counter rotating props makes it a little easier to back up because um, it backs up straight no prop walk and Lenko trim tabs. There's the one of the depth sounders and then a pit tube for the Okay, taking a look at the other side. You can see it's a roller trailer. With a power winch. I have mine connected to the truck, but you can add a battery box or just run it off jumper cables if you want to. Show you about these later. Um, that's actually where the fenders mount. Makes it really easy to recover and put out your fenders when you get where you're going. Two rear facing kickers. Uh, they are on their own switch so that when you want it you can have music behind the boat but you don't always have to have it so you're not bothering everybody on the lake. Right now the walkthrough area cushions are in um, which makes it nice when you want to lay out. It can be removed if you'd rather have the walkthrough. Here's the wet bar area. You've got a cooler here. Plug if you want to Keep it closed up. Sink. It's got a 10 gallon fresh water storage. Garbage can. Storage area number one. And the amp. The amp is only for uh, those two kickers in the back. Um, so they're plenty loud. And here you got JL Audio speakers, four of them. Uh, they're lit at night. I'll show you the accent lighting at night once it gets darker. Okay, here we have the two captain's chairs. Nice thing is flip up bolsters so you can lean on them while you're driving. Uh, of course they pivot. And they do lock in place. Mahogany steering wheel. All your normal gauges. Controls for the trim tabs. Nav. Docking lights, engine room lights, courtyard lights, depth finder. Um, the stereo button is for those two rear speakers. Indirect lights are the accent lights that I added. Uh, powered engine hatch. Uh, power for the water pressure. And you still have one free accessory if you want to add something else. This is the other control for the stereo. Those are remotes because the primary head unit is in the head to keep it nice and dry. Um, this is a tilt steering wheel. You've got a blower switch for twin blowers in the back, a horn, and a bilge switch. Now the bilge is automatic, but you can turn it on if you feel like it. And then I also have a bilge alert, which just in case the water gets too high, uh, it will let you know even without the bilge run. And then these are all your circuit breakers. Volvo Penta normal power control. 
comes with a Garmin chart plotter. It's a 536S, um, which actually this boat has a NEMA 2000 um, data share with the engine and through a Meritron. But basically what that means is that you can monitor your actual uh, fuel usage uh, consumption in gallons per gallons per hour um, right from here. So you don't have to guess just by um, how much you have left in the tank. It'll actually tell you uh, how many more hours you can operate or how many more miles you can travel at your current speed. Uh, we're not in the water, of course, so it's not going to show anything here. And the reason that the fuel gauge is pegged out is because it's got a full tank and we're sitting in my driveway, which is on a slant. Um, but everything else, um, all the other gauges work. And you can see the hours are 338.4. All right, moving over to this side. On this side you have the, the glove box, which there's actually a carpet piece for that. And in here we have the head. Added this magnet to hold the door open because when the when it gets wavy, the, the door waves around, but not anymore. So you got some storage in here. And of course you've got the head unit, a sink, mirror, light, and the actual radio. Uh, nice thing about the radio is that it's Bluetooth, so you don't have to connect anything to it and for to use it from your iPod or phone, but there is a charging cable that can go right here in this USB, um, or you can connect an iPod directly to it. Uh, that way the iPod stays charged or your phone or whatever else. All right, up here in front. Um, in this little locker here, we got another three-step swim step on the front of the boat. Uh, anchor locker with an anchor and a chain and um, rope. And so this doesn't get in the way when you're using the ladder. front under the center cushion We've got another cooler they drain overboard under this side seat storage area same on this side As we move back, we actually have a way to close this off. Uh, so in the fall, when you're running, or if it's just cold for whatever reason in the summertime, you can close this and it substantially cuts the amount of wind that comes through the boat, um, which makes it warmer. We also used to use it to uh, keep little kids from running all over the boat. <laughs> Okay, and in this storage locker, it's pretty sizable. Um, it's where you keep first aid, things like that. There's a light in here, in case you need to see. And right now we're set up for seating all the way around. This is another cooler. This is the one we used most of the time. Keeps things out of the sun, nice and cool, but you can pull it out and take it with you, uh, which makes it easier to fill up with ice and whatever you're putting in there. And this is that same seating area with the table installed. And you can turn it whatever way suits you best. It's convenient for eating. Uh, we played cards, board games on it, Yahtzee. Okay, side rear storage areas. There's one on each side. This side has the 2300 watt inverter. 
uh, with its own cutoff switch. You can power just about anything you want to for a short period of time. Just don't drain your batteries down. But there are two Optimus, so you get a little bit of time there. Um, the number one and number two are both switch. Uh, connections for jumper cables, if you need them, you can... Uh, like I said, the hatch is actually powered, so it's easier to connect the jumper cables to here, raise it up, and then you can get inside. Um, and over here, that's the charger for the two batteries. Onboard charger, you just plug it into a extension cord, and the smart charger takes care of the rest. Alright, this is the other side. Large storage compartments. Okay, and the last storage compartment. It's kind of big. Actually, it's really big. So, um, this is where we keep the boat hook and the light pole and the poles for the um, cockpit cover and for the winter cover. I can get in there and lay down. It's probably seven feet long, two feet deep, and about three feet wide. This is the front area with the center filler cushion and also the rear filler cushion. It's nice for lounging, laying out. You can have a full size person, two of them, laying down here. We've actually slept there and then. Other two on top if you wanted to. And now let's take a look at the engine. All you do is and it also has engine room lights. So it's a fuel injected 5.7 liter Volvo Penta engine, which is basically a GM block. It's a GM 350. Um, there's your water storage, fresh water, where I keep my spare oils and my thing. I check the oil every time I use it. Your LED lights up there. You can see the two kickers that are mounted to the rear. Dual Optima batteries. And this is the Pro Sport charger. It's already connected. All you gotta do is plug it into that port I showed you earlier. Bill just pretty clean. It's a little dirty right now, but um, nice thing about this particular engine that is if you need to change a freshwater uh, impeller it's actually right in the front which makes it really easy uh, one of the reasons I chose this boat is because it's so easy to work on there's a lot of room you can actually get down in there um, to take care of it which is important to me as you can tell uh, that sensor down there on the bottom that goes through the hull that is the other depth sensor charging system controls charging both batteries when the engines are running uh, feeds the one that needs it the most and dual blowers it's twin blowers and when you're ready to close it turn off the lights and One other nice thing I wanted to point out about this motor, this actually connects directly to a garden hose. And what that does is instead of using earmuffs to run your engine uh, when you're not in the water, you connect the water line right to here, turn on the water, start your engine, and you can run it in the driveway as long as you want. Then shut off the engine, then shut off the water, put your cap back on. Nice feature. Okay, the last thing I'm going to show you is the, the Bimini. Um, 
it's pretty easy to put up. I can't do it with one hand. Um, I guess I can give it a shot. So you unzip it. We added snaps so that the zipper doesn't move when you're running. Take off the cover. Two straps. And then pull it forward. And then these just connect down the, on the side of the boat. But you can see it gives you quite a lot of coverage. It's nice, it's not in the way. Still got plenty of room to move over it. And you can run the boat while it's up because um, it's all stainless, stainless fittings, stainless poles. Uh, I don't go over about 30 miles an hour with it up. Um, but not that hard. And the boat has fitted snap-in carpet throughout. No stains, no cigarette burns because we don't smoke. Okay, last two storage areas are actually kind of a gull wing type. This one we lined with, all it is is Textile mat, the whole thing lifts out, but this is in case you want to put something metal in here so it doesn't scratch it up. We had a uh, a little stern anchor in there, or sometimes we put a little grill in there. Uh, same thing on this side. This is where we kept our chews and blow ups and that kind of stuff. Just where two of the accent lights are. I'll show you those later when it gets dark. So I want to show you what those little holes up there are for. Um, Taco Marine makes these. They come on cobalts, but I added them to this one. Uh, all you got to do is, it's a quick release pin. Push down on the head, push in, it locks in. And what it does is mounts your fenders. Um, we use, obviously, big fenders, big boat. but uh, And socks, because we don't like marks on the boat. But what that does is make it easier for when you come in. You don't have to keep tying them up. Uh, you just slap them in real quick. Same thing when you leave. You just pop those pins, pull them out, throw them down in that center cargo area, and you're good to go. Also, if you're going to raft up with somebody, it's easy to pull them out and stick them out there. Uh, doesn't take a bunch of time. My wife does it while I drive. So nice, easy, convenient. Um, okay, here are those blue lights. I don't know how well they're going to show up in the video. You can see the speakers are actually lit from the back. And the nice part about the courtyard lights is when you turn them off, you can still see the ambient light that comes from those wells. And the other interesting part about the courtyard lights, same switch, is it turns white. So when you alternate the switch off to on, they switch from blue to white. Same lights. Um, kind of made them so that they do that. And the other interesting part is that this well down here is also lit. Looks cool at night on the water.